What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the new affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description below. And also thanks to all of you that have been checking out that link. Uh, I can see all of that kind of information. So I know a lot of you have been looking at it. Of course, there has been some purchases. So I do hope you enjoy the chair that you purchased. And I'd like to thank you all for supporting the channel as always. Anyway, guys, today I would like to do my final kind of review, my final thoughts of the game. I've been waiting to do this video. I've waited about a week now since the game has come out, a little over a week. I wanted to get really deep into the game, uh, campaign, co-op, and multiplayer, and really kind of just engross myself with it and, and try to understand it. At the same time, you guys know if you've been around the channel a while, I'm not a person that does reviews and say so you need to go buy this or you do, do not need to go buy this. I'm a person that likes to just kind of give you my thoughts and I leave it up to the, the viewer themselves to decide just from watching gameplay, reading things themselves. Uh, I, I don't like to tell people to do, you know, buy things or not to buy things because I, I think it really comes down to preference with video games. So some people may not like the same thing other people like. So you kind of understand what I am saying. To start off with, I want to talk about campaign. I'm not going to give any spoilers. It took me around, I would say, five to six hours to beat the campaign. I did not play it straight through. I played it kind of in different blocks of hours, I guess I would say, different missions, you know, then I would go do some other things, uh, do a few more missions and do some other things. But overall, I really did enjoy it. I think that the graphics, of course, were absolutely insane. The cutscenes were absolutely insane. Uh, the story was really good, but still to this point, I still hold COD 4's story to the highest standard. Now that is a lot of nostalgia coming from me because the way I felt the first time I played COD 4, COD 4 story, I've never felt like that playing any other COD, uh, Call of Duty story in recent memory. So I will say though, to me, this ranks right up there with COD 4, whether it is good as COD 4s or not, that is up going to be up for debate, I'm sure. But I really feel like the story was well done. I know it's had a lot of controversy kind of surrounding it. But I felt that it really kind of engrossed you into the story with all of the cutscenes, all of the kind of voice acting that went into it, all the stuff that kind of that kind of made this campaign really enjoyable. And I really was happy to play a campaign considering Black Ops 4 did not have a campaign. And the past few years we have had just decent campaigns that kind of been middle of the road to me. They were fun to play, but more boom, I guess, than anything, more of that kind of Hollywood explosions, you know, it just not, wasn't a lot of story to it, it wasn't very in-depth, but well, this story was a lot more in-depth to me, in my opinion, so when it comes to campaign, I thought it was a, a lot of fun, it was a, a good time to play, and if you have not played it yet, I would recommend that you try it out, it is a little brutal for, for some people, probably, uh, for me, you know, it was just an enjoyable experience, but of course, it's just down to preference once again when it comes to that campaign. Now, when it comes to co-op, I feel that co-op is a bit difficult. Um, I've played co-op several times, and it is something that you're going to have to sit down and actually do and, and, and take some time to do is kind of what I'm meaning. It's going to take a couple hours to beat it the first few times because these missions within the co-op uh, kind of story are very enjoyable, but also very hard. It reminds me of something you would see like in an RPG or a game like The Division or you know, I even think of things like the Elder Scroll Online, because that's something that I play, where it has these large group activities that you play with other players that are very difficult things to do. You know, it takes time, it takes skill, it takes kind of preparation and planning to be able to do these. And it's interesting that they added something like this in a game like Call of Duty. I'm not sure if it will ever have a, a, a true home where it's just something that's played all the time. I know some people will like it, but it's just, like I said, it's something to me that would be in a different style game than just a, a game that's mainly, you know, focused on multiplayer over the last 10, 15 years. But I do find co-op very enjoyable also. So just keep in mind, if you do try it, you're going to have to have some time to, 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 to be able to complete it. And it is pretty difficult, but it is also very enjoyable. You have different roles and things you can pick from. I think they did a very good job with it. Now, when it comes to multiplayer, I know this is a big debate. Is it good? Is it bad? Uh, just keep in mind, these maps were designed by the same people that designed Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 maps. I think a lot of people may have forgotten how cluttered those maps were. Now, there were some really, really good maps in those games where I don't think there's that st standout map just yet in uh, Modern Warfare. 
I think we may get that eventually. Hopefully we will with all the free DLC that we're going to get. Hopefully a good steady stream of content will be coming to the game very often. It seems like they are trying to work on things. We know they're going to have a big overhaul by the end of the month. The minimap is supposedly coming back. So there's a lot of things that are getting fixed. The game's only been out a week, so I would just kind of hold on. Uh, just, you know, worrying about is the multiplayer good or not just yet. If a lot of things have not changed in several months down the road, we may have some issues. But as of right now, I've really been enjoying the multiplayer. It's just kind of a learning curve because it's gone back to that older style play. You know, it's that slower play style. Things like Modern Warfare 3, like COD 4, like Modern Warfare 2, like Call of Duty Ghost. Those maps were big, those maps were cluttered, and the play styles were a lot slower. So right now, it's just kind of a learning curve. A lot of this is probably going to change over the next few months. As you, as you all know, Call of Duty always evolves multiplayer-wise. And I think they did a good job with it this year, trying to do something different, considering most people every year, year in and year out, want something different. Now, whether, like I said, the game will stay in the state it is in right now, who knows? I think we're going to see a lot of changes coming because of some negative feedback. But there's also been a lot of positive feedback. Leave me a comment, guys. Let me know your thoughts of the game overall. I have really enjoyed it. So I'm just looking forward to the future of the game to see what we kind of get later on down the road. Of course, guys, if you liked the video, hit the like. If you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. And of course, click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance, share the video. It helps the channel out a lot. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.